Hi folks, this is the guide to the sample preparation for the Fourier transformed infrared FTIR machine. Here you see one of the three FTIR machines we have beside the synthetic lab. For solid samples, we will need a mortar and a pestle. It is a tool to use to crush and grind and make solid substances. The mortar is a bowl, typically made of ceramic or stone and the pestle is a heavy club-shaped object, the end of which is used for crushing and grinding. Here is the evacuable pellet press, the upper body on the right side and the lower body on the left. We also need a bolt press and a pair of dies, a manual hydraulic press to make your potassium bromide disc. Let us follow the procedures. Blank KBR preparation. Clean the capsule press system thoroughly with the chloroform and dry them with tissue. You really have to apply force onto the dies, the bolt press, as well as the press system, each of them, and get rid of any dirt or remnants that is left down there by the previous user. Clean the mortar and pestle thoroughly with chloroform and dry them with tissue. You have to make sure that they are dry. Scoop out some dry KBR into the mortar. You get the KBR from the oven. Grind it well using the pestle. You may have to do it for a minute or two. Next, fix the pellet press together. You put the upper body and turn it gently into the lower body. Insert a die into the cavity and make sure it sits on top of the basement. Transfer the ground KBR into the cavity using a metal spatula. Make sure that it's evenly spread. Insert the bolt press and rotate into the cavity to distribute the particles. Take out the bolt press. Insert the second die and adjust the bolt press onto it. Transfer the whole capsule entity into the hydraulic press. Now rotate the wheel to secure it tightly. Rotate the knob clockwise to tighten it. Pull the lever repeatedly until the meter reaches 10 TMS. Wait for about 2 minutes for it to be compressed. Rotate the knob counterclockwise to release the pressure. 
rotate the wheel to disengage the pallet press. Now, disassemble the press entity. Invert the upper body and place it on top of the lower body. Assemble the adapter on the top of the upper body. Rotate the wheel slowly until you feel that the dies are loosened, or you can hear a sound. Now, when doing this, you have to ensure that the force is applied at the middle of the press, and make sure that the giant screw sits atop of the press entity. You see that now there's no gaps between the screw, the adapter, and the press entity, and it should be the way. Next, remove the entity from the hydraulic press. Lift up your upper die, and here's your nice blank KBR disc. You have to be careful and avoid touching the KBR disc with your hands and always use a forcep to transfer into the sample holder. Now fix the cap onto the sample holder. And voila, the blank sample is done. Now place your sample holder that has your blank KBR disk into the FDR machine. and then scan the background. Sample preparation. Clean the capsule press system thoroughly with the chloroform and dry them with tissue. You really have to apply force onto the dies, the bolt press, as well as the press system, each of them, and get rid of any dirt or remnants that's left down there by the previous user. Clean the mortar and pestle thoroughly with chloroform and dry them with tissue. You have to make sure that they are dry. Transfer a speck of sample into the motor. Don't add too much sample because it will cause oversaturation. Scoop out some dry KBR into the motor. Grind it well using the pestle. You may have to do it for a minute or two.
Now you see that you have a homogeneous mix. Next, fix the pellet press together. You put the upper body and turn it gently into the lower body. Insert a die into the cavity and make sure it sits on top of the basement. Transfer the ground KBR into the cavity using a metal spatula. Make sure that it's evenly spread. Insert the bolt press and rotate into the cavity to distribute the particles. Take out the bolt press. This is what you should see when you take out the bolt press. You see there are no empty areas where this is not covered by your compounds. Insert the second die and adjust the bolt press onto it. Transfer the whole capsule entity into the hydraulic press. Now rotate the wheel to secure it tightly. Rotate the knob clockwise to tighten it. Pull the lever repeatedly until the meter reaches 10 TMS. Wait for about 2 minutes for it to be compressed. Rotate the knob counterclockwise to release the pressure. Rotate the wheel to disengage the pellet press. Now, disassemble the press entity. Invert the upper body and place it on top of the lower body. Assemble the adapter on the top of the upper body. Assemble the adapter on the top of the upper body. Now when doing this, you have to ensure that the force is applied at the middle of the press. And make sure that the giant screw sits on top of the press entity. You see that now there's no gaps between the screw, the adapter, and the press entity and it should be the way. Next, remove the entity from the hydraulic press. Lift up your upper die. Can use, a tweezer. use a forcep to transfer the disc into the sample holder. Now, fix the cap onto the sample holder. Remove the blank KBR sample holder from the FTR machine and then replace it with your sample. Now click using a mouse and perform a sample scan and wait for results. I'm Funman and it has been a great pleasure getting you throughout this video. See ya!